today i'm going to show you how to make the reports in a crystal reports okay this is going to be your first crystal report and it's going to be damn easy just pay attention okay let's start with the crystal report now the, you start your crystal report program and from the file select new and a standard report you can press also control n for a new to create a new report we are going to create a blank report and we are going to add the fields the tables okay let's now create a new connection i already have created a connection so maybe you have to create an odbc connection if you don't have one i'm going to use the xtm database that comes with the crystal report that is the microsoft access database you can choose i could have used oracle like because this is always available with the crystal report so i'm going to use that the same database so i select from odbc i already have made a connection and this time i'm going to this is already available with the extreme sample database i am going to use the extreme i have different this thing copy already i am going to use this thing i am going to type admin here okay and i am going to say finish usually you have to type the password and the user id for any database here there are there we go here are the tables there are the views there are stored procedure we are right right now i am going to use the tables so i am going to double click it i am going to use the customer table i select the customer table i could have used one more than provided i had at both the tables have a join one has a primary key and the other has a foreign key right now i'm going to just going to use the customer table a single table that doesn't require any join as you can see there are more than there are more than there is a greater arrow that allows you to select the single table there is a double greater arrow that selects you to all the table uh, same wise from here if i want to push it back here this box selected tables to the available sources i will use this arrow and if i want to select the push all the back the tables to the same available data source then i will use this arrow double uh, less than okay now i'm going to select next it is going to show me the number of the fields that are available for that table and i'm going to select if i want to select all the fields i could just click here and you as you can see all the fields have jumped into it field to display i right now i don't want it so i make them unselected by selecting this thing back again now i'm going to select the only the field that i require and here we go one customer credit number customer name customer first name cus contact sorry contact last name contact title and i'm not going to select any positions or right now just for this report what i'm going to select is i want a country okay and i want the city that's it for my report right now you can select as whatever you want depending upon the what the requirement of your organization or what the requirement of the report is and i'm going to select new because you are just this is a demo for a presentation for you i'm going to select now it asks me what to choose that group by so you should always remember what you are going to group by first the group, uh, first group by has to be the bigger one and the second group by has to be the smaller one now take for example the city exists in the country the country doesn't exist in the city so i am going to select the country first because that is the bigger group and then i am going to select another that is the city another field city which is city exists in the country so i am going to set, take it as a second one remember that the bigger group has to be bigger outside the parent group and the child group has to come inside i am going to select the next one and that string thing okay it now it has actually taken up the all the numeric field and put it as a, do i have to submit by i because this is a customer id and credit id customer id i did not have to submit by suppose if there was a figure that was it salary or something it will automatically sum up the thing right now i am no i do need not i do not need this field so i am going to se select this thing and i am going to say i don't need this thing and it is gone again i am going to select for the same thing for the this thing customer city and it's gone i need not to group these things okay and it is summarized field there is nothing to be filtered i don't need need not right now any need a filter if i wanted to filter for the country or for the city i could have specified here right now i am not going to do it and i am going to move next and as you see i have moved to the 
it's now it is asking me for the templates for the i am not going to set any template as you can see there are many templates already available okay but i'm going to show you how to do how to format the report yourself rather than using a template and so i'm going to no template and that's it and i'm going to say finish here we go in within a matter of a moment we would be having a report and i will show you how to format it formatting the report is very easy just see it once and do it as many as times you feel like report is coming up and there we are we have the report on the screen as you can see here in the customer city customer id custom credit id these are not coming up correctly okay now okay now this has come grouped by the country okay i want the column column name to be bold i want to be centered and i want to be exactly how do i do it so i go back to the design board here is our design board okay okay now that the thing is that suppose first i want these things to be okay to be bold so i select these things okay this is how i select click and drag it okay this is how i got it bold now it is going to show up here and they are we are okay now they are all left justified now i'm going to put it to the center and then i'm going to edit it okay now i have got everything the problem with this thing is that it is already showing me so i double click it this field and as you can see it allows me to edit the this thing the column okay there we go and it is i'm going to select its id and that are, that's how it is done and similar way i am going to do the rest and show it to you okay there we go i have done it now as you can see the context actually contact actually stands here uh, that is contact for, for the what do you call the field heading this is for the title that is for mr or mrs i can always drag it here and again so what i do is because i did not actually correct it in the, in the very beginning when i was selecting it so i can always click and drag it to the some other place and i can keep it there and then i can select the first name here and this one and drag it to the right and then i can put the contact back to the position before the first name you have to use the control and click to select multiple objects remember that thing okay there we go okay now i can go and see a preview how does my report look so far so good i can see i can select any other of the place where i want to go from the left left and the report jumps up there right suppose i have click on canada the report goes jumps up to the canada as you can see anywhere if i select china the report goes to the china okay now suppose if i wanted to go and select united states so i go and select usa and the report jumps up to the united states of america okay and the cities within them now the problem is showing up that the cities are being cut down and the countries would be getting cut down because of the field width so i am going to realign the uh, resize the field width i am just going to click on the group name and make it big okay he, there we go and so i am going to do the rest the city name also and then i am going to come back to you and show it to you as you can see i have actually made the fields bigger and i am going to show it to you right now in the preview and there we are I'm going to the first one and we are being able to see the correctly the city and everything and then we i'm going to show you the we are going to go to the first one 
and there we are okay right now okay okay we are back to the to the design board now i am going to select the column name everything and i am going to show it to you how to actually format them okay there we go i right click on it and say the format multiple objects and now i can select whatever the color i want border i want to select the border i go and select the border okay after selecting the border there i have selected everything and then there is a border tab menu and then i have selected the background i have changed the background to the aqua you can have selected any other color then i have clicked the drop shadow and we will change the color of all the heading we have seen so far okay there we go we have selected we have changed the color and so why is i am going to do for the rest of them and i am going to come back to you again when i am finished okay there we are i have formatted it i put the colors right now i'm going to show you a preview how it looks with the preview of the color here we are so far so good now i'm going to show you how to let me actually change the date i want a bigger printing date i do not want the as it is shown here so i make it big this field make the field big and i format the field and select the date okay there we go and this is done and the last but not least okay now i'm going to format this section i want to change the background color so i click here it says section expert click the section expert and i go to the color and i do background color i can put whatever background color i want i'm going to put silver and i'm going to do the rest of the for the rest of the sections and i'm going to show it to you how did i do it okay there is it i have added all the all the thing the all the sections and now as you can see it looks beautiful i'm going to show you a preview and then we are done with it as you can see i have to align it a little still something are not coming up correctly so i'm going to align it i'm going to select it and then i'm going to align it okay i have selected all of the field that that i want to align and then i go to the format and i select align and it says align i want to say align to the top and that we are there we are done and there goes our preview again and this time we have aligned and that's how we are done with the crystal report fast report and now i am going to show you how to save it and then we are done with the report so save correct save and then you can give a name when the menu comes up and then we are done once you have saved the report i am again using save as you already have saved the report i am going to show you as save as and here it is and i have saved it Does, do you want to yeah because i am use save as so i will say yes replace it and then we are done and we are done with the powerpoint report presentation part 1 that's it thank you for listening to me bye bye